Hello, Little B. Jessup here. This is going to be a little bit of a different style of video. It's more of like a vlog style, keeping everything updated, getting the bike fixed, getting the van fixed, getting ready for this last race. If you enjoy this style of content, give me a like. So last race was intense. Um, the bike took a, took a beating, the van took a beating, but luckily I didn't take a beating. Um, wear your safety gear. Um, the van, I, I showed the U-joint braking and that was rough. That was on, on uh, a very busy interstate and I did not feel safe. The stuff I didn't show was my tailpipe fell off. I um, mean, it, it fell off, but it was dangling. It's still there. And my power steering pump got loose. So we tightened that up. Uh, but the belt and that is pretty much trashed. And I hit a deer. But since the van's on 35s, we just ran the deer right over. There was no issue. It's a tank. I've got some race repairs to do. I've got to fix the KDX. I've got to fix the van. And I've got a week to do it. So when I replaced the power steering pump on this thing, I didn't even think about replacing the belt for some reason. I don't know why, but it's been it's been over a year since I did that. Unfortunately, I had to undo the alternator belt as well, but whatever, it's easy to get on and off. Everything on this van is super simple, except for working on anything on the motor, like valve covers. That'll take you all day. Unfortunately, the belt is shorter than my uh, alternator belt, so I will need to get a new belt. So I have a couple of spares of these, because the van likes to throw them every now and again when it has a temper tantrum. But how do you tell if the belt's bad? It's all cracked. And it squeaks. Time to change it. Going on a belt and beer run. Mission accomplished. I got a new belt. And I got beer. Um, I've got to hurry up because I am running out of daylight. Unfortunately, last night I did run out of daylight. Um, AutoZone did me dirty. They cross-referenced this belt and they gave me one that was supposed to be the same one, but it was actually a little bit bigger. But we're going to make it work. So I had this bracket on the van. This is what the power steering pump tied to. It went right here and swiveled. Uh, I took it off because that's the only piece that it mounted to and everywhere else was just extra holes well that took a while to change your belt um the pulleys turned out to be not aligned so i used a, a straight edge being this paint stirrer and i measured from up here to it which is three inches and now from the pulley from the back of the belt to the paint stirrer is three inches so this in theory is parallel in theory so I'm gonna do the same thing for the alternator because that one's always had issues as well. So it'll be good to go. If you're curious how to do this, first you put this, your straight edge vertical and you measure from straight across from the belt, the back of the belt to the straight edge. And you wanna turn this so it's over the alternator and measure from here. So first I'll get this measurement. I'm like right at one and a half on the back of that. And then measure on this side and we were actually at a little about one and five eighths so the alternator is spaced too far out so i gotta bring it in some just got the alternator aligned the power steering is aligned it's crazy uh i've been driving this thing with misaligned belts for probably three years now i'd replace a belt pretty often. I had spares with me, so whenever it happened, I was like, oh, I'll just change the belt real quick. But this was the problem. The whole dang time, all it took was a freaking washer to fix it. U-joint looks fine. Now I'm addressing the muffler or well, the tailpipe. This thing just decided to fall off on the way home. No reason why, but uh, I think I got it back in place. I can disconnect the strap. 
All right, perfect. You just gotta tighten the clamp down and that fixes that issue. I don't know where the heck the storm came from, but it just appeared. So uh, we might get some weather here quick. Ooh. Holy uh. oh, crap, this wind. Wind blow down the plant, or you can't see that. No, the wind. The wind? Oh my gosh. That was some storm yet. Oh, the other day, huh? That wind picked up like crazy. But know that the van did get fixed. It is good to go now. Just took it on a about 150 mile trip. I went back home and look what I brought. The old XR650R. Out of uh, its retirement home. We'll bring that thing back to life here short and soon. But now we're gonna get the KDX race ready. Last race this thing took a beating. I got it all cleaned up, but you know, I've got some some stuff to fix. It's all a little busted up. Dang dirt bike ran over the front of it. It kicked me while I was down. But also this thing isn't revving up like it should. Uh, could be a carburetor, could be air filter, could be spark plug, who knows? Could just need to be rebuilt. We're gonna jump into it though, see if we can make it any better to limp this next race. Well, this isn't the dirtiest I've seen it. That's good to go. We're getting defeated by a light bulb. Never been beat by something so simple and so fragile. This light has been burnt out for two years. Got a new bulb. And the great Casey herself can't even get it. I've been trying this for like 30 minutes. Way too long for just a tail light. I'm an idiot. That uh, the tail light was for the van, the van bulb, so it didn't fit. But I got the headlight all fixed up. Look at that, solid. Had to do some stitches on the sides, on oh, the side. But whatever, it works. Uh, tomorrow we'll we'll oil that filter that's drying out on the van, and, that, and give this thing a quick little rinse off under the plastics before I put it all back together. So after doing some researching last night, I've got a theory why this thing won't rev up. I think my exhaust system is clogged. I've never cleaned the silencer and I've had this thing for four years. Um, I, I ride it in the woods, mostly lugging it, so it could have a built up of two stroke splooge in there. We're gonna take it apart and clean it. This thing weighs like 40 pounds, it's so heavy. But there is, I don't know if you can see it, but there's so much sludge in there. It's disgusting. This is gonna smoke a lot. So I've got my cheap Harbor Freight heat gun, a muffler adapter, and a pipe. We're gonna put some heat in this thing. And now we wait for it to heat up. Holy cow. We got some smoke. Oh my gosh. It's all fire coming out of it now. Yeah. Well, let this one cool down and let this one go for a little bit. The 
so the cleaning must have been really good for this thing because it is it's noticeably lighter um there's no more crusties in it but we'll we'll see how it does when it's running well she sounds different a lot more crisp let's give her a let's give her a test rip I am in regular shoes, my barefoot shoes, so let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, she's crispy. Definitely runs a lot better. Other than getting stuck in the woods, you know, I gotta cut some trails bad. That's my next goal after race season. I think she's ready. Originally, my plan was I, th I thought this thing something was like seriously wrong, so I was gonna check it out, and it it was just had some some bad stuff going on. But got that exhaust cleared out. I think that was the major problem. I was gonna get this thing set up and race that, but I don't really have time. I've got a big test this week. I've got to study up for so wish me luck on that but we, the xr will live again i'm super excited for this race lake circuitry should be fun i've never been here before um it's the last race of the year unfortunately but that gives us time to get in shape and get ready for next year got a lot of stuff to do to the house got a lot of stuff to do in the garage so i'll be busy uh, PJ and I have a seven point difference, so this race is it's it's close. You know, I I can't screw up. Um, he's gonna be he's gonna be hungry. He wants it. I want my belt back too, so I'm, I'll put it right up here. Just know that PJ, right up there is where the belt goes. I'll hang on to that. But I look forward to seeing you guys out of Lake Sugar Tree. Um, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.